you must build your cv in the european format and you should always send a cover letter while applying for the jobs in the european countries like germany netherland denmark or similar this is what you have been hearing from your friends or seniors or maybe someone working here in europe right but if you look at today's job market if you look at today's nature of hiring do you really think that you should build your cv in that stone age european cv format do you still need a cover letter in 2024 ai era if not then which format you should use while applying for the jobs abroad how to approach recruiters how to avoid rejections so many questions right well my name is arshad and i've been working in germany since 6 years now i have spent good amount of time understanding european job market understanding applicant tracking system i have been also talking with many hrs right from small scale industries to large scale organizations so in today's video i will tell you whether you need an european cv format and whether you need to apply for a job with the cover letter and if yes what should be the content of the cover letter what to write how to write how to approach hr i'll answer all of those questions so before that please subscribe to this channel as i keep posting videos every week i also share latest job opportunities here as well as on my instagram channel so please follow and subscribe now before you forget here is my id all right let's move ahead First question do you really need to build your cv in european format to apply for jobs in europe the answer is no the europost template that you might find on the google is outdated the problem with this format is that there is a lot of traditional structure which is followed by thousands of applicants for example having tabular structure for the languages that you know i have seen people from india mentioning the languages that they know for example hindi marathi punjabi malayalam and what not I mean guys just imagine do you think knowing those languages can give any business values in the company unless you are applying for the translator or similar roles but if you know european languages such as german spanish french then it makes sense to specify that but again no need to have a tabular structure unless you know more than 5 european languages and the job really demands your experience or command on the language another outdated thing in the europass template is a column based alignment and verbosity even if you look at header section there are too much of personal details Header should contain minimal and first hand information like your name, role, phone number, email or LinkedIn profile link. That's it. Date of birth, address, you can keep that information at the end of your CV. Another annoying thing, stop writing curriculum vitae or resume on each page. There is no need to mention that in my opinion. Also if possible don't use heavy graphics such as emoticons or icons because ATS do not like large or heavy files. Now let's address another question. Do you really need a cover letter while applying for the jobs in Europe? Well the answer is yes. Cover letter is nothing but an explanation to why a recruiter should spend his or her 15 to 30 minutes reading your CV. It's kind of a face of your CV. The primary purpose of the cover letter is to introduce yourself to an employer, express your interest in a specific job position and explain why you are suitable candidate for that position. So basically it allows you to explain why you are a great fit for the job and why HR should look at your CV further. Understood? Great. Let me quickly tell you how to build short, crisp and smart cover letter. But before that if you are still here watching this video and if you are getting any values then please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel and also press the bell icon because in coming week i am going to post 50 new job opportunities here in europe from various sectors and i don't want you to miss that all right moving ahead remember that cover letter and a cv serves different but complementary purposes in the job application process so when you build your cover letter you have to customize it for each of the job application according to the nature of job description if you ask why well A cover letter typically includes a greeting and introductory paragraph a body of text that highlights relevant qualification and experience and a closing statement and hence it is often customized for each of the job application to address the specific requirements of that position you know cover letters are generally concise and typically range from half page to one page but i would recommend to keep it as short and as to the point as possible in fact they are focused on the key points and they are meant to be a quick read please understand this part Cover letters are meant to be a quick read. Also remember that a well crafted cover letter demonstrates your genuine interest to the position. Okay, now enough about cover letters. I think you got an idea on how to make a cover letter. I have developed five brand new cover letters as well as three CV templates and I sell them on my website with very minimal cost. But in case if you want one of them for the free, just mention your email ID in the comment section and I'll share it with you for free. Now the next question is how to approach to the HR? Well finding a job in Europe is challenging because inflation has led to a decrease in hiring opportunities also the competition is increasing day by day i have been living in germany for 6 years now and i can tell you that in last 2 years the number of expats has increased tremendously if i talk about indians there are thousands of people moved here not only for job but also for study business or as a dependent 
एवरी वन इज कॉम्पिटिंग इन द जॉब मार्केट सो ऑब्वियसली हसल इज गोइंग टू बी हार्ड फॉर यू इफ यू आर ऑलरेडी हियर और इन इंडिया और फॉर द मैटर इन एनी अदर कंट्री एंड लुकिंग फॉर अ जॉब इन यूरोप देन आई हाईली रिकमेंड यू टू फॉलो दिस चैनल जर्मनी जॉब्स हियर यू विल फाइंड लेटेस्ट जॉब अपॉर्चुनिटीज लेटेस्ट इवेंट्स एंड अपडेट्स फ्रॉम जर्मनी कमिंग बैक टू द ओरिजिनल डिस्कशन लेट्स टॉक अबाउट हाउ टू अप्रोच टू द एच आर और द रिक्रूटर नाउ इमेजिन यू हैव फाउंड रिलीवेंट जॉब अपॉर्चुनिटीज लेट से यू फाउंड टेन जॉब अपॉर्चुनिटीज विच इज क्लोजली मैचिंग टू योर प्रोफाइल द नेक्स्ट इमीजिएट स्टेप इज टू बिल्ड अ सेपरेट कवर लेटर फॉर ईच ऑफ दैट जॉब आई डी बेस्ड ऑन द जॉब डिस्क्रिप्शन it is very important that you should not include too much of technical details in your cover letter try to use simple and easy to understand english convey your expertise and try to reflect your seniority through well formulated english sentences as i said cover letter is an explanation to why someone go ahead and read your cv or give you a chance to talk further it should exactly address that concern so for example if you are applying for senior software engineer role then the cover letter should effectively convey your qualification your experience and enthusiasm for that position it should contain contact information such as your name address phone number email address and date of writing then it should contain employer's contact information such as the name and the title of the hiring manager or the relevant contact person and the company's name and address then you should use correct salutation meaning addressing the hiring manager by the name if possible for example dear mr smith or dear hiring manager if the name is unknown to you then you should have an introduction along with highlighting relevant experience explaining why you are strong fit well i previously said enough about cover letters but here i again spent few more seconds talking about the same but i guess it is important right now the real question is how to apply if you see an opportunity on linkedin then it is a best to apply via linkedin only furthermore if you go to the career portal of the company there you may find the email id of the hr and you can directly write a custom email i would also recommend if you find any mutual connection working in that company then try to connect with that person through the linkedin and ask them to vouch for you you know referral works quite well in the europe another way to connect is through the head hunters or the contractors there are many recruiting agencies in the europe and i have talked about some of the recruitment agencies in my previous videos but you can even find them online but make sure you validate and verify the legitimacy of the agency before connecting with them i hope you got an answer to the original question if you need cover letter while applying for the job if yes then please hit the like button if no then you can also dislike this video all right that's it for this video i will see you in the next one meanwhile take care stay healthy and stay wealthy bye bye